what if we could take the top of our passive products and combine that with our professional active studio monitors, the technology from those, could we then create a loudspeaker, a high-end system that would appeal to the more aesthetically conscious The premise was to, of course, turn a passive speaker into an active version. How to ensure that everything looked integrated and was part of a whole? Well, let, let's start off with what an active speaker is, because there's often a, mis a misunderstanding of, of what an active speaker is. In uh, 2022, we uh, launched our focus range, uh, three speakers that are, you could say, all-in-one speakers. You can uh, just uh, pull out your phone uh, and then you can stream directly to the speaker. There's nothing else you need to do. With the Confidence 20A, we are stepping up a notch. And then we thought, well, then we'll leave the choice of source to the preferences of the, the customers. So all you have to do with this product, if you want to keep it simplistic, is to choose a streamer to your likings, connect it to the speaker, and then you have a system. In the hi-fi world, there's always been this battle between passive and active speakers and what's the best approach to, uh, to have. There's not one right or one wrong uh, answer to that, but definitely when you go active, uh, you have full control of the speaker. So one of the challenges we gave our engineers with this project was to push the Confidence 20 to its absolute top-notch performance we could push out of this, uh, this uh, speaker. Well, first of all, the Confidence 20 is an already existing speaker in the Dynaudio uh, catalog. And to make such a speaker into an active variant has been a very large challenge indeed. And that meant we had to go a couple of ways to, to approach this. Because an active speaker, you need to have an amplifier module within uh, somewhere. Active speaker means that the crossover is done uh, actively. So it's done with small signals and electronics. And that can either be uh, DSP um, or with analog filters. And DSPs give you a lot more flexibility uh, to easily change things but also come with uh, drawbacks that it's a DSP and there's a bit more conversion that you have to think about and do properly. But when you meet those challenges well, you get a very flexible, very high performing product. And with the Confidence 20A, um, we've gone for an active loudspeaker uh, and tried to improve upon the already pretty good passive speaker. Because of acoustical needs for the uh, speaker itself, it could not be placed within the, the cabinet. So, um, where can we actually place this end? So, the premise of designing the Conference 20 Active uh, was to figure out how to integrate all the technical parts into a stand because we from the start knew that we couldn't put it into the cabinet because that would uh, compromise with the sound in the speaker itself. We couldn't actually replace the speaker stand itself so we had to work with what we, we got already. We have a quality in our sound that has to be kept, especially in this kind of range of speaker. What we basically had was a already uh, existing stand. From the start, our hardware software team had already considered a solution to the stand, which we had to work around when it comes to implementing the amplifier when we try to design uh, the stand in a more aesthetically pleasing way. One of the main advantages with, with the active speaker is this uh, being able to push the speaker lower than you would expect from a passive speaker of the same size. Um, and we can do that because we're in control of everything. When you're in complete control of the system, it means you can tailor things better. So you can tune the box lower 
um, and you, you'll sacrifice sensitivity in the loudspeaker by doing that, but you have a DSP and you have an amplifier, so you can compensate for that um, by boosting the response. Um, but all of these things, it, it's finding the right balance of, of how far can you push it and, and, and how much are you sacrificing. Um, and you can get pretty good, uh, well, better than pretty good results uh, when you do this in the right way. The target group that we had in mind uh, with this speaker, design is very important. Design is absolutely as important as the performance of the, of the speaker. And that was why we actually chose the Confidence 20 uh, from uh, the beginning, because it's a nice design, it's not obtrusive in, uh, in any way. And we only made very subtle changes to that speaker design to make it active. So actually the, the visual changes we have made are very minimal. Our main strive was to make it look like uh, the stand was born with this uh, from the beginning because we wanted to ensure that everything looked integrated and was part of a whole. We worked a lot with um, how to integrate uh, the knobs in the connectors on the back side. All the controls and the connections and so on, they are hidden on the back of the speaker because that's only something that you set up once you install the speaker, then you connect it, you uh, adjust uh, the settings to adapt to the room and to your personal preferences sound-wise, and then you're good to go. You don't need to touch it anymore. If you want to go more sophisticated, you can also choose a preamp and connect, for instance, a record player or all the sources you normally would have in a in a complex hi-fi system. So you can also go in that direction, but you can keep it simple and just have one source uh, on the system. It's very much in audio, uh, the sound. Um, that's something we are always trying to push for with, with all our speakers, whether it's our entry level emit speakers or our flagship Confidence 60. We need to have an audio performance. So that's first and foremost. And when we think about the Active 20, it sounds like a bigger speaker than it is. Uh, we can, like I said, we've, we've been able to push the bass lower because it's active. Um, and then that just affords us a bit more freedom with the filter shapes and the filter topologies that we can apply in an active speaker um, without losing the qualities that make a really good passive speaker a really good passive speaker. The, the comment we've had from people listening to the Confidence 20A for the first time, they are very much surprised about the performance of this speaker. They feel they are listening to a much, much bigger speaker. It was not the intention from the beginning to make it sound like a much bigger speaker, but that's just a consequence of making everything dedicated, a dedicated amplifier to the woofer, a dedicated amplifier to the treater and push them to the maximum. And that just gives you control. Uh, when you have that control of the speaker, you can push it to its absolute maximum. So it's like a bigger, it's like a bigger confidence 20 and better. If I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> we have gained so much knowledge from working with active loudspeakers from way back and up till uh, today. Um, and all that knowledge we have gained, of course we will utilize that. Just from the pure performance gain that you achieve by uh, adding amplification and having the control of the entire speaker. We'll not give up on passive speakers, that's still a big part of, uh, of, of, of the market, but there are definitely advantages of making a speaker active. Not to talk about the simplicity of the system you get compared to creating a full system with passive speakers, cables, amplifiers, sources, and, and so on. So this more simplistic approach is something that we see appeal to more and more customers. Will Dynolio make more active speakers in the future? Absolutely.